and greetings. Today we have a new smartwatch review. This is going to be the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Uh, this, I won't say how I came across this watch, but it was a uh, fortuitous chain of events. I did pay for this with my own money. Um, so this is a fair, honest, and unbiased review. I'm going to show you what comes out of the box and then go charge it up and wear it for several days, if not a week or so, and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. It comes with, oh, there's a, a sleeve of stuff here, and I'm guessing this is going to be the charging cable, user manual, and uh, who knows what else is here. All right, that's just a dummy piece of cardboard. This is going to be the charging cable. Okay, this is a little bit different already. This is going to be a charging cradle rather than um, just a magnetic charger. So the watch will sit on here and charge uh, inductively. And uh, th there you go. It's the watch, it's the user manual, and it's the charging cradle. I'm going to go charge this thing up, come back with my full, fair, and honest review. And uh, I'm pressing the button here. There's no juice out of the box. So through the magic of editing, you will see my final thoughts and opinions on this watch. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of an interim review. I'm a few weeks into wearing this watch, and I realize there are so many features on here. It's going to be impossible to just go through them in five or ten minutes without getting much, much more experience. But in general, I really like this watch. Um, it's got a nice bold face. The battery life is not great. If you, if, uh, I'm going to swipe down and if I go into the settings here and you go into connections, I keep Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned off to save battery life and I can get about a day and a half, maybe two days with those turned off except when I want to sync with the phone. Uh, but if you leave those on, you're going to get like a day worth of battery life out of this thing. So the battery life is not great. Um, but it's an easy to read display. It's a beautiful feeling watch. Uh, here is your progress bar. Here are your various sports modes. And I've done a hiking event. I've not taken this kayaking yet, so I at least want to get that one uh, done before I do a, a review of this watch. But if we keep swiping, we get into a measurement of, um, this is your skeletal muscle and body fat. I don't believe this number. I know my body fat is somewhere around 13.5% right now, so I do not believe this 16.2. I just don't. There is my weather for the day, okay? And if we keep swiping, we get to a calendar, and we can see if we have any events or appointments for the day. Here is your EKG. I've done several of these measurements already, and to do these, you uh, put a finger your middle finger and ring finger on the opposite hand on just press lightly on these other two buttons and it'll do your EKG I'll show you that in the app I think that works okay it will uh, see if there's any abnormalities in your in your sinus rhythm and let you know uh, here is your heart rate in beats per minute it will measure a level of stress and I find that pretty reasonable too I think it's relative the higher that number the more stress you're under swipe up you can get to the main menu here and there's tons and tons of settings and that's why this review is going to take me a little while longer swipe down you get into settings swipe from left to right um, it gives you some you know your activity sets for the day you can clear all um, and it, it's, you can get your messages on your uh, watch from your phone when connected uh, via bluetooth low energy with from your phone it'll send these right to your watch that works well um, so let me carry on testing this let me carry on reviewing this and then try to wrap it all up uh, this is the samsung galaxy 4 watch and uh, it's going to take me more time to learn all of its features especially in the app because it seems to use two or three different apps maybe let's go look at that right now okay folks i am back and I was not lying those previous segments were recorded back in November and December and now it is February and I finally feel like I've worn this watch enough now to give you 
a, uh, a good review of it, okay? You can adjust the brightness. It has adaptive brightness, which I absolutely love, okay? You can uh, turn on the lift to your wrist to turn the screen on feature. Touch to wake. I always turn raise uh, to turn it on off to save battery life. I don't have any problem pressing the button uh, when I want to know what time it is. So screen timeout, this is what I'm going for here for the purposes of this review, so I'm not constantly telling it to wake up again. But this adaptive display, I absolutely love. This thing really seems to excel in bright sunlight. It gets bright enough that you can still easily read it. And for me, uh, I like to hike, I like to kayak, I'm out in the sun a lot. I like a screen that's easy to read in bright daylight. All right, this happens to be the Watch 4 with the 40 millimeter display. There's also a larger version that's a 44 millimeter version. That's not this one. This is 40 millimeters, 4-0. This guy will do continuous heart rate, continuous SpO2. It will do your EKG, ECG. It will do body mass and body composition measurements. It has built-in GPS. It will track your sleep for you. It also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and it has workout tracking. Here you see the body composition. I'll circle back around to that, and it will pull in the weather from your smartphone. You can pull in your calendar and events. There's your ECG. Essentially, to make this measurement, you would, you would put two fingers on the buttons on the side here and take the measurement and let it go and it measure your ECG and it'll do the same with the body composition. If I do measure and I do hold my two fingers there, all right, it's going to ask my height and weight. It's going to tell me how to measure it. Usually you slide this back up your wrist just a tad and then, okay, we are ready. It's telling me where to put my fingers and it's saying touch those two buttons with fingers but don't let them touch my other arm. Now I don't believe this measurement. It's pretty cool that it does this impedance measurement and makes an attempt at body mass but for me I know it's just too high. It's going to tell me I'm probably around 17% 17 body fat. Um, that's just not true. Fat mass, 25 pounds, body water. Okay, it's going to tell me I'm 14.6% body mass. All right, this is actually closer to what I know it to be. I know I'm somewhere around 13 and 13.7 right now. This is the closest that number's ever gotten for me. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to say it's accurate, but it's at least generating a number. And if you want to track progress over time, like uh, it's not measuring your weight, you have to enter your weight, but it will give an attempt at skeletal muscle mass, fat mass, body water, mass, um, body fat percentage, and your BMI. Okay, there's your basal metabolic rate. That's the number of kilo, uh, yeah, number of calories or kilocalories you burn, basically just to maintain life without doing any uh, radical activity. So it makes that measurement. I think it's pretty neat that it'll make that measurement. I don't trust it, but that last measurement was at least in the ballpark. Uh, the body fat measurement has been reading high for me. Um, so we press that button, we swipe down, you can get into your settings as I showed you here um, at, at the onset. There's a lots and lots of settings. Um, the battery life they claim uh, 40 hours. I think that's generous. I think it's got maybe 40 to 46 hours if you turn location services off like I have and if you keep Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off, okay? Um, maybe you'll get 40 and a little bit more uh, battery, hours out of that battery, but you know, Bluetooth tends to come on. You tend to leave location services on, and I would say, you know, under those conditions, give it a day. You'll get a day, maybe a little bit better than a day. But uh, when you get up in the morning and take a shower, or, you know, if you have some routine in the evening that you like to do, throw it on that charger to, to charge it back up, because you're not really going to make it two full days without uh, charging it again. You get your notifications, app notifications. You can get uh, notifications from your phone. Do not disturb modes. Um, let's go back to the exercise modes here. Here's your progress bar, your kilocalorie burn, number of steps, and estimated uh, distance traveled throughout the course of the day. 
your exercise modes you can choose more here um, location services turned off I know yeah so you can see kayaking for me I, that was the last activity I did a couple days ago and when you're done with the event you press a button to make the screen light up and you swipe from left to right and then it'll give you the option to finish that uh, exercise so that's pretty cool you can see there's just a ton more exercises in here all right lots and lots and you can add a whole bunch too so very cool i like the looks of the watch feels good on the wrist it just it, it's very responsive um I, this is my first samsung watch i'm impressed by the display and how responsive it is to touching and swiping um, I'll tell you the rest of the story and how I came across this now. I found it on a neighborhood classified website. Um, somebody ended up with two of them for, I think it was a birthday, and um, he decided to sell one off, and he was selling this for 90 bucks. Um, so I said, yeah, sure, I'd love to own a watch of that quality. So I went and picked it up from him. I'm glad I did. This is selling right now on Walmart and uh, on Samsung directly for about $159, and you can find them other places under $100. For under $100, I'd say it's an excellent value. There are tons of features in here, folks. You can set up Outlook email if you wish. I have not, but you can. It's got alarms, countdown timers. You can set up a payment system if you wish. Okay. Um, it's just there's your weather it's got a compass it's got a barometer there's so much stuff in here i'm very very impressed with all the features in this watch i'm not gonna run through every potential uh thing in here because it would just take too long but you can pull in your messages let's go look at the app and then i'll come back with my bottom line and final thoughts on this one Okay, so the main app here is called Samsung Health, and when it's on your phone, uh, you'll just see it show up as health. I want you to take a moment, folks, and recognize that I actually went out and got a new smartphone that is in this decade. Um, I finally upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus. Uh, my Verizon store gave me a really good trade-in value on my old phone, so this is a brand new phone. So they're slowly hooking me into the uh, Samsung uh, ecosystem, but you get your, your overview uh, for the day, daily activity. There's my steps. Here are my exercises, and here you can see all the exercises you can add to the watch. All right, there's a bunch in here. Um, workouts this week. Here is the kayaking I did the other day. It gives you your average heart rate, your workout calories burnt, the duration of that workout, uh, maximum heart rate. Okay, and it gives you your heart rate chart throughout that workout, and it tells you what uh, zones your heart rate fell into during that. And if you click on that, it gives you a little bit more detail, heart rate recovery. So, you know, this is all good. It's, it's, it's interesting stuff. You can push this out to a, a, a different app if you want to, like, recover the maps and the steps. Here's a hiking I did over the weekend as well. Similar type chart with the heart rate and your heart rate zones. And um, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I like the way it works. You can get into uh, your sleep tracking. Where did that go? I just saw it a minute ago. But it does sleep analysis. Oh, I got to go back one. Okay, there we go. Here's my uh, sleep. All right, you can go back over the previous days. It gives you your, your deep sleep, your light sleep, what time you went to bed, what time you got up, uh, how many times you're up during the night. There's your body composition measurements. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's because of the new phone. It's selling it me. My, it's my first one. But there's my... Uh, see, you can see there, there are body count measurements going back, so I'm a little confused why it said it was my first one. Um, so your, there's your body comp, your stress levels. Uh, it tells you whether you're high, low, or average. I guess uh, today I'm... I guess I'm sort of average. Maybe even a little bit low, which is... Uh, Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it as a win. I'm not under a lot of stress right now. Here's your heart rate and beats per minute. Per minute female cycle tracking. That just uh, gives you a 28-day cycle uh, timer to remind you, hey, 
your little friend is going to visit, and then it, you can set up reminders to drink water and whatnot, blood oxygen saturation, it will track it over time and days, um, and it will also do your blood pressure. And it wants you to enter sort of a base blood pressure and then it will measure it automatically. This is not a medical device. I don't trust it as one. You shouldn't either. So um, I don't really look to a smartwatch to get uh, blood pressure. It's got some fitness coaching in here and some videos. Um, you, you can get to your page and, and you know, set some stuff up. There's another app in here. Uh, it's the wearable app where you can get into sort of the settings of the watch. And that's a little bit clunky with the Samsung ecosystem is you kind of need two apps to get done what you want to get done. Um, so if I wanted to change watch dials and whatnot, I would do it from this app. And there's tons in here. There's plenty to choose from. Um, you choose your app screen. Here's where you get into your settings uh, and whatnot. Uh, find my watch if, if it's missing. I don't have it connected via Bluetooth right now. So yeah, just understand that. You have your wearable app and your health app. And there's another one yet called Samsung Health Monitor if you so choose that one. Uh, so three different apps. I just use this one really um, because it's, it's all I need. So well, what's my bottom line on this one? If you are looking for these core features in a smartwatch from a reputable company, again, this is the Samsung, um, you know, it's high quality, it's going to last a long time, it's GPS, it's an outdoors type watch. I got it for 90 bucks, like I said. Um, if you're looking for these features, check it out. I'd say it's a, it's a solid, solid value. Um, I wouldn't pay more than about $125 for this watch at this point because the next generation has come out. They have the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 out right now. So this is the predecessor. So it's getting old. And, um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay... Oh, updates are available. I wouldn't pay retail for this right now. You can find it cheaper in other places, but I give it two thumbs up. This is my first Samsung Galaxy Watch review. Hopefully there will be more. Um, I rate this up there. I, I, you know I'm a big fan of Amazfit watches for outdoor activities. Uh, this, this is up there with them and, and Galaxy. I know you guys are going to laugh and say you, that's your way of saying Amazfit is up there with us. No matter how you look at it, look, I did the Amazfit uh, reviews first, so usually whatever you review first, that's what you judge everything else against. Um, but yeah, I like this one. I think it's a solid value. I think you should check it out. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be strong, and uh, stay tuned for some more watch reviews coming up over the upcoming weeks. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.